Hi, dear friends. Welcome to Oil and Gas Training. In this video, we are discussing about uh, one of the very important uh, equipment using in oil and gas operation. Production separator or uh, simply a separator. So, welcome to this video. As an introduction, uh, the crude oil mixture is uh, coming from the well. Uh, in the earlier uh, videos, we have discussed that one. So, using through the flow line, and it is reaching to gathering center. Gathering center is, uh, center is a facility to collect crude oil mixture from various wells coming to the single head. And according to the pressure, it is uh, divided and uh, feeding to various uh, production separator. So, separation or separator is a mechanical equipment. So, look like in the uh, picture, it is a uh, mechanical vessel. It is, uh, the inlet is uh, crude oil uh, mixture, oil, gas and uh, water. It is uh, separating by gravity and uh, pressure difference, gas, oil and water. We will study in detail about separation process and production separate. Primary gas liquid separation process. Separators are mechanical devices used for primary separation to remove and collect liquid from natural gas, which is normally accomplished with the aid of centrifugal force. What a separator does? Look at the figure in the left side. Mixture of oil and gas, sir. gas, oil and gas and water. It's a, a emulsion form. It is entering to a, a static vessel. So, gas is uh, lighter than the liquid. So, gas will move to and the top side within a resident type and liquid itself is a water and oil it is uh, some emulsion mixture is there still it is uh, separate it will take some time it will uh, water is heavier than oil so water will settle down and oil will be in the middle so this is the basic uh, principle of a separator and uh, look at the right side uh, so the well fluid is uh, entering uh, from one side and inside some internal arrangement is there it is called internals separator internals it's a uh, supporting a mechanical like working like a mechanical helper so because of this uh, different type of internal mechanical devices uh, accelerate better separation and perfect separation uh, it will also breaking the emulsion and uh, because of the pressure difference or gravity difference, gas will immediately travel to the right side top of the gas outlet. There is also internal circuit. So various internal we will discuss one by one in this class. Different names are called separator in various type of operation. Scrubbers are also one type of separator and accumulators so that is also another name flash tank knockout drum so various names are using for representing separator separator classification look at the figure it is uh, separators are sometime it is vertical or horizontal or spherical according to the pressure or uh, according to the quantity of uh, uh, gas or oil volume of gas or oil and uh, uh, by uh, the phase different phases like uh, gas oil and water or gas oil two phase or three phase so by phase it is uh, uh, two type of separator three phase or two phase by shape it is horizontal vertical and uh, spherical these all are using uh, uh, in a company in a different operation like atmospheric separator, uh, medium pressure separator, high pressure separator according to the well fluid pressure. Look at the picture. This is a, a real uh, separator, uh, real picture from a uh, 
గ్యాదరింగ్ సెంటర్ ఒక సో దిస్ ది ఆల్మోస్ట్ సపరేటర్ సైజ్ క్యాన్ వేరీ లెంగ్త్ క్యాన్ వేరీ వాల్యూమ్ క్యాన్ వేరీ డయామీటర్ క్యాన్ వేరీ సో పైప్ లైన్ సైజ్ క్యాన్ వేరీ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద వెల్ ఫ్లూయిడ్ ఫ్లోరైట్ ప్రెషర్ అండ్ వేరియస్ స్పెసిఫికేషన్ the main functions of an oil ga- oil and gas field separator are to cause a primary phase separation of gas from liquid to go co- to continue this process by removing entrained liquid from gas to give sufficient time in the separator for gas to be released from oil to allow sufficient time to permit the separation of oil and water to provide controls that prevent the gas escaping with the liquid to discharge the separator fluids from the vessel in such a manner that remixing of any of them is impossible three physical factors are necessary for separators to function one is a gravity that is a, uh, oil and water that is a different uh, gravity uh, you know that uh, oil is lighter than water or water is heavier than oil so fluid insolubility uh, means oil and water is insoluble sometimes it form emulsion but it is uh, 100% insoluble if it is soluble like alcohol and water it is a different separation method is required to separate so fluid insolubility is a very important factor so difference in fluid densities like gas uh, oil and water with the three different densities so these are the three important factors to accelerate or get a result better better separation gas is uh, very much lighter than crude oil and in a separator gas and oil will separate in in a few seconds because of the vast difference in density between gas and crude oil almost all of the gas instantly separate from crude oil in the separator approximately 90% of the gas from liquid separation occurs instantly this is known as primary separation or flash separation some liquid remains in the gas in the form of a fine mist this entrained liquid must be removed for separation to be complete if the mist is not removed from the gas gas phase in the separator liquid will settle out in the gas outlet flow line possibly in a burner a downstream of the the separator or a, it will go to a compressor and cause a hazardous condition also an amount of crude oil product will be lost let us look out what are the separation separation stages there are two stages in the process of separation of gas from liquid uh, the important the uh, one and the important one is primary separation large difference between the densities of gas and crude oil about 90 percentage of separation occurs almost instantly this is called the primary separation some of the crude oil remains in the gas as a fine mist secondary separation the most difficult function of a gas liquid separator is to remove the oil mist from the gas the mist cannot be removed unless the fine droplet in the mist can be made to join together or coalesce to make large drops which become heavy and fall out of the gas coalescing levers are used in the separator to make these fine droplet join together in a coalescing levers the liquid sticks to the surface of the device and combines with other drops to eventually from a drop large enough to fall out just yes, so let us look at that uh, right side picture various uh, demister pads or uh, vein type mist extractor or coalescing plate 
it is uh, uh, installed internals as internals of the separator. This internals we will study in details in uh, coming uh, slides. Problem caused by poor separation. Poor operations of the separator can cause uh, downstream problems. For example, the the liquid can settle out in the gas line. Uh, possibly in a burner system causing serious problems. So see the if the gas is uh, carry over or a liquid is carry over with gas, the gas is going to mainly to compressor or uh, boiler or burner uh, system. So it can create lot of problem in the uh, downstream equipments. If the gas remains in the liquid can cause cavitation in pump and increase the pressure in vessel. If the gas is carry over with the liquid in the so it will go to downstream low pressure vessels or it will go to the uh, various pumps so it can make cavitation or increase the pressure in the vessels. These all are the dangerous or serious causing the serious problems. Retention time or resident time. Gas bubbles in the liquid will break out of the crude oil, crude oil phase in most oil produce production separators in 30 to 60 seconds. Therefore, the separator is designed so that the liquid stays inside the vessel for 30 to 60 seconds. The length of the time that the liquid stays inside the separator is called residence, liquid residence time or the time required for gas to bubble out, out of the liquid. A tangential inlet or internal diverter is used to cause spinning motion in the incoming gas. Just to look at the right side picture, it is a red a circle is marked the internals, uh, the inlet device. So the high speed crude oil mixture, gas crude oil mixture is coming, uh, entering to the separator. It is uh, uh, diverted or reducing the velocity, changing the direction and uh, creating a better separation uh, device that inlet inlet device so cause or creating a spinning motion of the incoming gas a properly designed separator will also provide it for release of the entrained gases from the accumulated hydrocarbon liquids that is using like demester pads in the, in the gas outlet it works as a filter or mesh you can say the objective of ideal separatory selection and design is to separate the hydrocarbon steam into liquid free gas and gas free liquid ideally the gas and the liquid to reach a state of equilibrium at the existing conditions of pressure and temperature within the vessel thank you for watching uh, this video and uh, section uh, one of the, this uh, separator and separator operation. Uh, in the next video, we are going to discuss about uh, various internal parts of a separator, uh, how to operate a separator safely and efficiently, and the various uh, uh, process instrumentation and the control system safeguard uh, safety features of the separator in detail. Uh, thank you for watching. We will come by another video soon. Thank you.